Hello everyone, in our practical sessions related to pharmaceutical analysis, today we are going to discuss about preparation and standardization of 0.1 normal NaOH solution using oxalic acid as a primary standard. In this lecture, we can discuss the preparation of 0.1 normal NaOH solution, preparation of 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution and how we can perform titration using phenolphthalein indicator. So, what will be the object for this practical? The object is to prepare and standardize 0.1 normal NaOH solution using oxalic acid as a primary standard. Now, what are the materials required? For apparatus, we can require funnel, volumetric flask, conical flask, volumetric pipette, beaker, burette, burette stand, weighing balance. And chemicals that are required are NaOH, oxalic acid and the phenolphthalein solution. Coming to the theory portion. For theory portion, we can mention the primary and secondary standard. A primary standard is a chemical which is a stable in nature, which are highly pure, which are non-hygroscopic in nature. They have a high molecular weight and they give stoichiometric reactions example oxalic acid and potassium chloride if we talk about secondary standard then these are a chemicals which are comparatively less less stable than the primary standard they have low purity they are hygroscopic they have low molecular weight they have poor solubility for example hydrochloric acid and the NaOH. If we compare the property of primary standards and the secondary standards and if we talk about purity then primary standards are highly pure but the secondary standards are comparatively low, po uh, low in purity than the primary standard. If we talk about stability then primary standards are stable but the secondary standards are unstable. If we talk about oxidation by air then the primary standards are not oxidized by air but the secondary standards may oxidized by air. If we talk about hygroscopic nature then primary standards are not hygroscopic in nature but secondary standards are may be hygroscopic in nature. If we talk about molecular weight then the primary standards have a high molecular weight but the secondary standard have a low molecular weight. If we talk about solubility then primary standards are good in solubility but secondary standards are comparatively poor in solubility. Now coming to the procedure. In procedure there is first the preparation of NaOH solution. And for preparation of NaOH solution the molecular weight of NaOH is 40. The molecular weight is equal to 40. So, for preparation of one normal NaOH solution, we can weigh 40 gram and dissolve directly it into 1 liter of solution. So, for one normal, there is 40 gram per liter solution we can, uh, we can prepare. But we have to prepare here 0.1 normal. So, for 0.1 normal, we can divide 40 by 10 and then it will be 4 gram per liter solution. So, for 0.1 normal NaOH, we can take 0.1 normal and uh, we can weigh 0, uh, we can weigh 4 gram of NaOH and we can uh, dissolve it in 1 liter for the preparation of 0.1 normal NaOH solution. We can weigh accurately and then transfer it to a volumetric flask of 1 liter then we can maintain the volume by using distilled water and then we can label it as 0.1 normal NaOH solution. Then second there is a preparation of 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution. The formula for the oxalic acid is C2H2O4 dot 2H2O. This is the formula. So, the molecular weight of the oxalic acid is 126. 
if we see the formula of oxalic acid and the reaction between the NaOH then this is the reaction this is the formula for oxalic acid plus 2 NaOH then what will be the reaction the reaction is COONA plus 2H2 so here we are seeing that two hydrogens from the oxalic acid these two hydrogens are replaceable and these are replaced by sodium in the reaction so for preparation of one normal oxalic acid for preparation of one normal oxalic acid we can take 126 by 2 that is 63 gram per liter of oxalic acid but we have to prepare 0.1 normal then for 0.1 normal we can divide 63 by 10 that is 6.3 gram per liter for 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution then for preparation procedure we can weigh accurately 6.3 gram of oxalic acid and transfer it to a volumetric flask of 1 liter half filled with the distilled water then we can shake well and make the volume up to the mark and then we can label it as n by 10 oxalic acid solution then the third part of the procedure is a standardization of NaOH solution. In the standardization of NaOH solution, we can take 10 ml of oxalic acid solution and add 1 to 2 drops of phenolphthalein solution in a conical flask. Then to that solution, we can add NaOH solution uh, from the burette until the solution becomes just pink. So these are the three steps in the procedures. Now this is the observation table. In the observation table, uh, we can uh, first take the volume of uh, 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution which will be 10 in any titration. We can perform the titration 3 times. So the value of oxalic acid is 10 ml for all the 3 titrations. So it is written here 10 ml for all the titration then we can observe the burette reading for the NaOH solution the initial reading the final reading and the used volume of NaOH then we can find the uh, the reading of NaOH as a b and c then we can calculate the average value of NaOH solution by adding a b and c and dividing it by 3 then we can get a average volume of NaOH solution. So this is the observation table for the practical and we can prepare observation table like this. This observation table is prepared on the blank page by using a pencil. Now the calculations are also performed by, uh, performed by using a pencil on, on the blank page and the calculations can be done in two steps. The step number one is the calculation for weighing and for weighing uh, first we can prep, uh, we have prepared 0 0.1 no, uh, normal NaOH solution and we, uh, 0 0.1 normal oxalic acid and the calculations we have already discussed for preparation of a 0 0.1 normal NaOH solution. We can first calculate the equivalent weight and then that weight of NaOH dissolve in 1000 ml of the uh, solution. For oxalic acid we have also prepared 0.1 normal uh, oxalic acid solution then for, uh, for this also we can calculate the equivalent weight and then uh, that uh, weight of the oxalic acid is dissolved in 100 ml for the preparation of 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution. Now for the uh, step 2 of the calculation, there is a calculation for the standardization of NaOH solution and for this we can use the formula N1V1 is equal to N2V2. And we have represented it as n NaOH 
VnaOH is equal to N oxalic acid V oxalic acid. So N1 V1 is the normality and the volume of NaOH and N2 V2 is the normality and the volume of oxalic acid. So here in the titration uh, we have to obtain the normality of NaOH. So uh, we can obtain this formula N NaOH is equal to N oxalic acid V oxalic acid upon V NaOH where V NaOH is equal to volume of the NaOH in the titration N is equal to oxalic acid normality that is 0.1 normal and V is the oxalic acid volume that is the 10 ml. So we can put all the values in the formula the normality of oxalic acid is 0.1 the volume of oxalic acid is 10 and the volume of NaOH we can obtain from the burette value which we have calculated in our observation table. By putting all these values in the formula we can get the normality of the NaOH. By this calculation we can obtain the actual value of the prepared NaOH solution. We have prepared here the 0.1 normal NaOH solution but by this standardization uh, practical we can obtain that whether the concentration of the NaOH solution is 0.1 exactly or what is the actual normality of the prepared NaOH solution. So this is all about uh, this lecture. Thank you for watching.